everyone happy Tuesday I know uh, welcome to another week weekly reading vlog I didn't film anything yesterday I just I okay so originally I didn't film anything because I didn't get anything done in the morning and I was like I want to film my first clip in the morning da, 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 da. and then today I didn't get to film anything in the morning either so you know what I just said F it I'm just gonna film anyways even though it's nighttime and stuff like that but I'm in that in front of that like different area and I really like it so yeah, let's give you some reading plans for the week. I did start The Walled City by Ryan Grodden on audio. I'm loving it. This is actually, it was giving me our dark duet vibes or sorry, it was giving me the Savage Song vibes with this whole uh, city that's walled off with just the most evil of people inside of it. But it's very different and I'm really enjoying it. This actually does have a full Asian cast so far from what I can tell, but I am really enjoying it. I love the mix of the culture in it and it's so good. Um, I'm on, I'm a little over halfway through, so I'm on page 220 now and yeah, I hope to finish that probably tomorrow. And then uh, I am still working my throat my way through Empire of Storms. After I left you guys where I said I was gonna read 100 pages no matter what, I did read 100, or up to 100, page 105. And so now I'm just continuing it. I have just been having so many issues actually reading when I'm sitting down. I finished American Horror Story, uh, Colt. It was okay, it was very okay, but that was what was taking up a lot of my time and now I started Hotel because I never watched Hotel. So it's a constant battle, <laughs> I swear. But after I finish Empire of Storms, which I hope to do soonly, I want to start Tower of Dawn by Sarah J Maas. Obviously I have to have this done by next week, this week, next week, next week. So I want to start that as soon as possible, just kind of go through that slowly. But maybe in between those two, I might be picking up Beneath the Sugar Sky by Shannon McGuire. I wanted to read this last month and I'm still in the mood to read it so I figured one more whimsical read before my super spooky book start. I did actually just get into the Drowning Deeps audiobook from my library so there's a good chance that I'm gonna listen to that after I finish what's it called? The Walled City. So yeah but who knows I <sighs> I'm really just so unsure. I hope to finish so many books. I am actually considering doing a 24 hour readathon this week. I'm not 100% sure. I'd wanted to do one closer to like Halloween time. I thought that that vibe might be a little bit more fun. But now I'm, I need to look through my schedule. If anything, there is a chance that I might end up doing it tomorrow, which is insane. But I just have to get like a lot of these big books out of the way so that I can get started on like the books that I really wanted to read this month. And I feel like a 24 hour readathon might be the best way to do that, but I'm not 100% sure yet, so I guess we'll see. I'm gonna look over my schedule tonight and decide from there. Oh, one more thing. Okay, so I did want to ask you guys, I am not very creative. Every once in a while I like run into that whole situation where I realize that for a booktuber I really don't have a lot of creative ideas at all. It's, it's a problem and I definitely want to fix that. But I wanted to ask you guys if you had any really cool like spooky or Halloween themed videos that you thought you might want to see me do. I have a few in mind. I just, I, I want like something cooler, like much more Halloween themed, not just like Halloween recommendations. I, those kinds of videos happen all the time. I kind of just want to do something very specific to Halloween, but I really can't think of anything. And yeah, so if you guys have any ideas, uh, in or around spooky Halloween videos, please leave them down below. I will definitely check them out because your girl wants to be spooky and she can't think of anything. So yeah, all right. Um, that's gonna kind of be it for this update. Uh, my boyfriend's coming over now, so I'm gonna try and read as much of Empire of Storms as possible before he gets here because I don't know how much reading I'll get done once he's here. I always, you know, feel bad reading when he's here. So yeah, that's it for right now. Nice. Well, hello. Um, I just felt like going for a very natural look today and I'm really into it. You know, I think that my bare face is really how I'm gonna start doing this. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm definitely the pumpkin king right now. Pumpkin queen. 
But yeah, so I actually just fin finished filming a really fun video for me. I definitely had wanted to do something more like this um, every single day of Halloween where I just kind of did really cool makeup or uh, dressed up or something. So I'm, I'm happy that I did it finally. And I'm actually really pleased with the way everything turned out. I feel very spooky and I took like a million pictures hopefully. I say hopefully because I just press the video thing and I just hope to screenshot them all and let's just see if any of them turned out. So yeah, a little reading update. I am at the very tail end of the walled city. I'm on, I'm here. So it's really, really, really good. I'm actually so happy that I ended up picking this up. It's very dark, so dark and creepy. And um, yeah, it's just, it's really cool. So I'm enjoying that. I probably will be finishing that today, if not like within the next hour or so. Uh, I'm not going to be doing my 24 hour readathon today, but I'm actually thinking that I'm going to start it tonight. So meaning tonight at like, um, I don't know, 10 o'clock, 9 o'clock or something like that, I will start my readathon and then read for 24 hours straight, which is really cool because I definitely need to get Empire of Storms out of the way. I want it out of my life. I love it so much, but it's just, I can't believe I'm taking so long to read right now. So that's definitely something that has to be a move. Um, yeah, so I'm probably going to go to the gym. <laughs> Could you imagine if I just kept this makeup on for the rest of the day? Like, I love it, so I kind of want to, but yeah so that's kind of it for this update I don't really know what else to say I tried for so long to get a picture with him just on my head like this and now he stays look it looks like he's eating my hair <laughs> um all right yeah so I'm just gonna kind of get going um I need to text my friend to see when we're gonna meet up for like gym time we're actually I'm actually gonna go work out I know weird um but yeah so I mean I need to go edit actually that video that I just made because I have to have it up so that's what I'm gonna do I'm probably gonna keep my makeup on for all of that because I'm having too much fun okay bye all right so it's still Wednesday and I think I'm actually about to start a 24 hour readathon which is really exciting I just really want to push through Empire of Storms and I feel like my sleeping schedule has been so out of whack and I think that this is actually going to help it get back in order because if I stay up all of tonight, I will be really tired by tomorrow night and I'll be going to sleep early and stuff like that. So I think that's what's going to happen. I mean, I guess you'll know because we'll see. If anything, uh, if I don't end up doing that, I'm still going to just include it in this vlog. But if not, you're going to have a 24-hour readathon, which is really exciting for me. So... Yeah. Uh, before I start that, I want to let you know I did finish The Walled City by Ryan Grodin. I loved this. Um, <laughs> there's always books where I finish them and I just think to myself, like, I wish I hadn't given any other books five stars this week because this one is the true five star read. It's just, it was so good. It was so well done. It had so many really important things in it and... Yeah, uh, definitely a lot of trigger warnings if you want to read this. It's very dark, very gritty, very graphic. Not, like, super graphic, but it's it's still fairly graphic. Um, it was just very well done. It is a full Asian cast. They never really specify what kind of Asian. It seems... I read or listened to the author's note, and it seems that he was pulling from a true walled city that was in Japan, and he did some Chinese and Japanese aspects in this, so... Yeah, it's also really cool to find out that this is based kind of very loosely off of a true walled city that was ran by just gangs and thieves and awful people. So it it was really good. I had a really great time reading it. I really enjoyed the ending. I think that it was my favorite part. It, it felt a little slow in the beginning, I guess. But that's the best part about audiobooks is you don't notice when a book is slow. Um because it's an audiobook, so it's just speeding you through it anyways, and I think that's fantastic, so I didn't have to notice any of the slow parts that other people seem to complain about. I just got all the good stuff, so five out of five stars. It was so, so, so good. I'm glad I picked it up. Um, that being said, I don't know what I'm going to pick up on audiobook now. I think that I'm going to check. I know Into the Drowning Deep got added to my library. I don't know if I want to listen to that quite yet. I definitely want to listen to it, just not right now, I think. So I'm going to check to see if there's any other audiobooks that I can grab and if not, I'll listen to Into the Drowning Deep. But yeah, alright, uh, I'm gonna start filming for my 24 hour readathon, so.
So we're officially like almost two hours in to the readathon and I'm about to take a break. Um, I'm keeping track of everything that I read by like putting down the time that I start and the time that I end, page that I started on and the page that I ended on. So I started reading at 11.23 and now it's 12.41 and I started on page 106 and now I'm on page 176. So just from that I realized that I'm moving a lot slower through this than I normally fly through books. Uh, I think Empire of Storms just has really tiny writing and I think that Sarah J Maas just went really hard with her flowery kind of writing style in this. Like I wouldn't say that it's necessarily like lyr necessarily lyrical. I think it's just very flowery. Like she adds a lot of things that maybe aren't necessary. And the beginning is pretty slow. I do remember that from my first read of it. I did just hit a really cool part, so that was nice and it kind of helped me fly through the 40 pages or so. And yeah, so it's just I feel like there's a lot of me waiting because there's a lot of revelations that happen in Empire Storms. There's just so many. And since I know that they're coming, I just want to get to those parts instead of getting to the build up. So it's kind of like a frustrating reading process because even though I'm enjoying what I'm reading, I want to get to the parts that I actually will enjoy. So yeah, but I am pretty hungry and I just keep thinking about food. So I think I'm going to make myself a little bit of something to eat. And I honestly, actually, I don't even want something crazy. I was thinking of like eating, heating up food or something like that, but I kind of just want cereal. So I might just get myself some cereal and then keep reading. Try and tell me that this isn't the best Halloween cereal. Just try because it's my favorite and I get it in bulk. general so I figured I would give you guys a little update so my last run was from 205 to 342 and I read from page 227 to 305 it's now four so I had a little bit of a 20 minute break I'm getting very sleepy but I am almost to the halfway point in the book which is really cool but look how much I'm flagging this I actually need to go and grab more tabs because I'm running out of colors I already ran out of green I'm one tab away from pink, two tabs away from orange, and one tab away from light purple. So I probably need to go get more tabbies. And yeah, I think actually I'm probably gonna make myself a coffee. It's about that time. It's about that coffee time. Oh, I always forget to show you guys, but my boyfriend, <laughs> now that they're around me, I'm like, oh yeah. My boyfriend, he's got me like multiple pillows of Thorn of Glass, or not Thorn of Glass, of A Court of Thorns and Roses, which I think is adorable. And this one's like an actual book pillow. Like he got it commissioned by this person that makes book pillows, which is so cool. And they're like one of a kind and it's so cute. And uh, it's actual text from the book that like rings around and it's like the actual first page of the book and the map. And it's just, it's so creative and amazing. and. You know, I just really appreciate how much my boyfriend supports my book addiction and everything. Yeah, it's it's great. There's also... <laughs> I guess um, bef in the process of getting that one done, because it took a little longer than he thought it would, he ended up getting me this one as well, and it says, I love you, thorns and all. And it's just... <laughs> Because he knows that Sarah J Maas is my favorite author, and so it's just, it's very sweet. I love him a lot. So, yeah, I think I'm going to make myself some coffee, and then we're going to get back to some reading, because this is only the first book. I was kind of trying to plan out what I wanted to read after this, and I'm still debating. I might just read a story from the Edgar Allan Poe short stories, or I'm going to read... 
beneath the sugared skies or I'm going to like take a shower and listen to Into the Drowning Deep while I do that. I don't know how smart that is because Into the Drowning Deep is a thriller that takes place in the water. So, I mean, who knows? We don't make great decisions when we're tired, do we? <laughs> but obviously I'll be keeping you guys updated. This might be my last update until it's like morning time because I feel like there's gonna be a lot of updating to be done tomorrow. So it's just, doesn't make sense to do it all right now. Luna, hi. All right, hey everyone, happy Thursday. Um, yeah, I totally failed at my 24 hour readathon. I just, I got really tired at about 6 a.m. and I was like, I'm gonna take a one hour nap. Like one hour nap is not bad. I don't even remember turning off my alarm like when 7 a.m. hit and then it was around nine when I woke up and I was like, uh, maybe just a little bit longer. Next thing I know, it's 2.30. Uh, I'd missed my 2.30 class. And yeah, I was like, okay, that's kind of it. Um, not a 24 hour readathon. I'll try again in the future. But I figured it would be okay because my boyfriend wanted to go out tonight. He was like, some of my friends are in town. Like, can we do this? And I was like, oh, I'm doing a 24 hour readathon. Like I'll be ending at 11 PM. I don't want to stop reading before then. And so I wasn't gonna go, but then I was like, well, might as well just not do it since I already failed. And now my boyfriend's not going out anymore. So I did my makeup. I literally finished doing my makeup. I was putting on my lip gloss and I see a text from him just being like, it's just gonna be a chilling night. And I was like, oh. <laughs> so yeah, that's totally cool. I mean, it's kind of a blessing in disguise because I do really wanna finish Empire of Storms, so. I did read a little bit more today, obviously not, this isn't from last night, but I'm on page 436 of Empire of Storms. I am tabbing this bitch up. Like I am tabbing this book up, it is crazy. And I kind of did a little bit of a different tabbing system. So you guys know that I've been tabbing things on the top if I really love that scene. So now I'm actually tabbing it on top if I wanna talk about it in my book talks. And I think this is actually gonna really help me uh, keep track of all the important scenes and the things that I wanna talk about. So I'm really glad I started that. Uh, it's still very important scenes. It's just because I realized in my last book talk that those things that I tapped on the top were things that I wanted to talk about. And so it's just kind of like mixing two ideas together. There's still important scenes that I love. It's just also now book talk required. And I'm like really like heavily tabbing. This is probably one of my most heavily tabbed books so far. I am enjoying it. It's just such a slow start and we're finally getting into like the good stuff. Like once page 340 hits, you're, you're starting the good stuff. So I've been kind of speeding through that. I also picked up Into the Drowning Deep by Mira Grant. I'm on chapter three, which is right about here. So very, very beginning. Uh, again, I'm not doing my audiobook listening today. Today is mostly set aside to watching booktube videos. Um, but yeah, I'm really enjoying it so far. I like the, the narration style and I'm really liking the premise. I guess it has to do with mermaids, which uh, is so cool. I also got a package in the mail and this is something that I do want to unbox for you guys. It's not a book, so uh, if you're getting excited, please don't. I'm so excited about this. So. Oh, the other night I could not get to sleep. I kind of mentioned yesterday how my sleeping schedule is like all out of whack and I was hoping the 24 hour readathon would help. Obviously I woke up at 2.30 today, so probably not. But my sleeping's just been insane lately um, and I haven't been able to get to bed. I've always had a lot of issues falling asleep, but lately it's just been a lot worse. And the other night when I was trying to get to bed and couldn't. I went on Amazon and did some shopping and put in one day shipping because, yeah, bad decisions are made when you can't sleep. So, <laughs> I'm so excited. All right, I got this and it's a bullet journal. This one's from the brand Dingbats and I was kind of hoping that it went to like animal proceeds and stuff because they have little different animals on each of their co covers. This is called the Orange Tiger Notebook and but it doesn't, but it is made from completely 
renewable resources like everything's like recyclable and uh, I'm totally blanking on how to explain this Basically, okay, I'll read the little thing in the back. 100% recyclable with a vegan degradable faux leather cover, acid-free fountain pen, friendly paper, contour stitching on cover, expandable pocket, da da da. Basically, this is very eco-friendly. It is the only uh, notebook brand to be approved by like a few of these vegan things. Uh, I, I knew a lot more information on this when I was doing my googling when I couldn't go to sleep, but now I've forgotten most of it, but I do know that it's good for the environment. And if you guys didn't know, I'm actually pretty environmentally conscientious. I I don't know. I have a lot of love for nature and for animals and I think that even though I'm buying a million books and killing millions of trees, I feel really bad about it, but I just I want to do whatever I can to help. So this was really a nice addition to my life. But it's mostly because I wanted to start bullet journaling. I kind of mentioned this in one of my previous vlogs. But I haven't had the supplies necessary to do it, and I'm really, really excited. Oh, look, it has little paw prints. It's so cute. And it's just a dotted paper bullet journal. So I'm really excited. I'm gonna look up some like templates and ideas. I already kind of know what I wanna do. So I can't wait to start, and yeah, I'm just really excited. Also in that purchase, I got some bullet journal pens. No, these aren't called bullet journal pens, but they're just fine liner pens that people tend to use on their bullet journals. But I also have a dual purpose for this. I actually want to start annotating in colors. I've been thinking about it, and since there are times where I don't tab everything that I underline, it would actually be helpful to see the color and like the emotion of what I'm underlining instead of just seeing all black. It's going to be a lot more helpful to me, so I'm really excited about that. And I hope these work out really well. They were pretty cheap, so I'm not like that upset if they don't, but... And the last thing in this box is actually completely unrelated, but also something I'm very excited about, so I figured I'd show you. Okay, cool! It's just an iPad cover. My mom's boyfriend gave me his old iPad, and I've been really loving it, but I wanted to get a case for it, and... How could I not get a Harry Potter themed case? And I'm really excited. I hope it fits. I'm sure it will, but I, I, I hope. Oh cool, it's like one of those like this kind. Interesting. Alright. Yeah, that's kind of it for this little mini haul. <laughs> Luna's in the box. She's so cute. <laughs> There's a cat in a box. Um, yeah, I think this is a good... Oh, she likes the bubble wrap. I think this is a good place for me to close out because, um, yeah. <laughs> She's so confused. She's like, how am I up here right now? <laughs> You're so stinking cute. I feel like Luna's been feeling left out for the past day because when I read a lot T'Challa likes to cuddle with me so I tend to read at the table and he'll jump into my lap and just cuddle and when I fell asleep last night on the couch because that's where I fell asleep because I wasn't expecting to actually sleep he actually cuddled with me all night he like jumped and like he let me cuddle him it was so sweet I think it was also because I was really cold and he knew I was cold and so he was helping but because of that I think Luna's been feeling left out bless you yeah, all right, that's kind of it for this update. Um, I'm gonna finish Empire of Storms tonight, <laughs> hopefully. So, all right. Peace out, Girl Scout. By the way, today I am a flame, uh, particularly Aelin's flame, like that one right there on the cover. But, uh, cause I had to dress up for Halloween, cause it's Halloween. But yeah, I just finished filming it and I had such a great time. I feel like I missed a lot, but it's mostly because I'm kind of on a time crunch because my battery is literally gonna die and I don't have enough time to wait for it to charge. Uh, I'm just like really excited that I finally finished Empire of Storms. Oh, yeah, that's the main thing. Uh, I finished Empire of Storms today So finally have time to focus on something else which means Tower of Dawn because uh, my book talk has to go up next week for that. So Yeah, next week. Oh my god um, Yeah, that's kind of all I want to say right now. I'm about to go to my dad's house because uh, He's gonna try and fix my boyfriend's car by he, like there's I don't know there's something wrong with my boyfriend's car But he's gonna try and fix it I'm also gonna pick up my boyfriend's birthday present which I'm really excited about and then later on tonight I have like a really fun work event like it's not an event. It's literally just like a team building Situation and so we're gonna go out and do stuff 
and then even later on into the night, it's my boyfriend's birthday dinner because tomorrow, October 13th, is my boyfriend's birthday and I'm really excited. So yeah, I wanted to take him out for dinner and we're gonna go to Cheesecake Factory and yeah, that's kind of it. I'm like really hot. <laughs> Where did the cold go? The cold disappeared again, by the way, guys. It's like, it's pretty hot outside again. Okay, it's not that hot, but it's, it's still hot. Uh, well, I guess it's because I'm, you know, a flame, so I'm always really hot, so I'm, I'm hot right now. That's, that's what it is. Um, yeah, that's kind of all I want to say. I'm gonna be reading Into the Drowning Deep. I think I want to kind of just jump into Tower of Dawn. That way I can read it slowly. I'm gonna read like maybe 100 pages a day or something like that. That way it's not like overwhelming. Um, but I also might pick up Beneath the Sugar Sky because I've been talking about it and I really think I do want to pick that up. Or I'm gonna read one of the stories in the Edgar Allan Poe short story thing that I bought. Oh. Yes, that is all. <laughs> what if I made that one of my pictures? That would be fun. All right. Hey everyone, so it's Sunday and I was just about to go to sleep. I was getting ready for bed. I was gonna take my makeup off and everything. Wow, I'm looking a mess. Yeah, that just happens. Um, and I realized it was Sunday and I feel like I haven't updated you guys in a minute. So, sorry about that. I honestly just, you know, haven't been up to anything and I kind of decided to stop updating you guys on the days that I just don't do anything because there's no real point to it and it just adds a lot of time to my reading vlogs. So, yeah. It's Sunday though and I definitely want to give you a wrap up for everything that I did this week. So, the first book that I finished was The Walled City by Ryan Grodin. I listened to this on audiobook and I gave it five stars. I really enjoyed it. I think that the story was so well told. It's a very dark, dark city. It has tons of thieves and just bad people and bad or good people in bad situations. And it was just a real, did I say bad people in good situations? I meant to say good people in bad situations. Maybe that is what I said. I'm tired. <laughs> but it was just, it was a really fantastic book. I had a really great time. I think the audiobook was really good for it. Uh, they had three different narrators for the three main point of views, which was really nice. And yeah, overall, five star read. I was so pleasantly surprised. After that, I finally, finally finished Empire of Storms by Sarah J. Mass. I gave this book five stars. I just, I, every time that I think I'm not gonna give one of her books five stars, like in this reread, I'll start reading it and I'll be like, why did I think this was a five star book? Her endings always just smack into my soul. Like, a Sarah J Maas can write a really good ending, which is why I'm like terrified, but also very excited for Kingdom of Ash because it's the ending, so the whole thing has to be good, hopefully. But yeah, I just, I really, really enjoyed it. I actually have my book, book talk up on this already. I'll like link it there. Uh, but it was just, it was fantastic. I had a great time. I, I feel like I have so many theories now for Kingdom of Ash and I can't wait to finish Tower of Dawn and make a theories video because that's what I want to do. And lastly, I started listening to Into the Drowning Deep by Mira Grant. <laughs> this is a long audiobook. I just want to go check how long it's supposed to be. It's like 17 hours and I was just kind of shocked because that is a long audiobook and this doesn't look like that long of a book. So, I mean, it's it's 438 pages. Why is it that long of an audiobook? So weird. Either way, I'm on chapter 8 now, which is like page 108. I'm like this far in. And I'm really enjoying it. None of the scary stuff has really started happening, but you can already tell how mysterious everything is. Like, the setting is so vivid and I'm really liking this whole cast of characters that we have. It's a really la like large cast of characters so listening to it on audio is a little difficult because it's hard to keep track of everyone that you're being introduced to but I'm sure it'll get easier towards the middle of the book. I'm already kind of getting a hang of it. It's just I think the narrator doesn't do a very great job of distinguishing voices which is weird. I really love the narrator's storytelling voice like how she reads the monologues and everything. It's just the voices that she makes for all the people that I just think are off. They either sound too similar or there's a few people with accents in this and I just don't like her accents very much but maybe I'm just being picky or maybe it's the speed that's throwing it off for me. I'm not sure because it's not like I hate it like how I hated uh, per Percy Jackson like how I hated Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard. It's just one of those like something's off about it and it's making me listen to it slower. Maybe it's because it's an adult book. Maybe it's because it's a thriller. I'm really not sure. Um, the last thing that I kind of want to touch on is 
Well, no, I guess I'll talk about that in my next vlog. I was gonna tell you like the next books that I wanna read, but that's definitely like a next week kind of thing. So yeah, I was hoping to read more this week. I thought I would, and because I had such a strong start finishing The Walled City in two days and everything, and then I just slowed back down when I started reading Empire of Storms. So yeah, definitely should start on Tower of Dawn. That way I don't get stressed out again. But yeah, that's kind of it. This week was pretty dull. I was going to take some footage yesterday while I was at the Renaissance Fair, and I'm not sure if I even mentioned that. I went to the Renaissance Fair yesterday, and I just didn't end up feeling like it was very photogenic, or like videogenic, I guess, because it's a video. <laughs> There's definitely a better way to say that, but I just didn't end up like liking any of the footage that I was gonna take for it, and then after that, it was it was my boyfriend's birthday, so it was really just more about him, and we went to a concert, and it was a ton of fun, but it was just definitely one of those situations where I kind of just wanted to be in the moment and enjoy it with him instead of like trying to take videos, so I hope you guys don't really mind. I'm sure this video is gonna be so much shorter than my normal reading vlogs, because I feel like nothing happened this week, like at all, like nothing at all. So that's interesting. Hopefully next week is more interesting. And the week after that, I don't even, oh my gosh. It's just, I feel like the end of October is gonna come really fast because I have a lot going on on 28, 29, 30, 31, and then onward. So yeah, yeah. All right, I'm gonna go because I'm very sleepy right now. And I just, you know, think that going to bed might be the best move for me. Also, I hope you don't mind. I didn't turn on like my overhead light and I think that this lighting actually works better for this angle. So I don't know, let me know. Um, my cats are being little hoodlums. What are you doing, Luna? She, if you can't tell, um, that the fall leaves aren't attached anymore to the shelf. And it's because she's ripping them off slowly. Yeah. What are you gonna do? You can't really control cats. But... Yeah, alright, that's gonna be it. And thank you guys so much for watching. I... Make videos Mondays. I'm so cold. Okay. It's finally cold. <laughs> I make videos Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays most of the time, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!